Fenwick's away on the narrow side for Wales. Perhaps there's a decor to draw out his strength to the right. And that's a great drive by Wales and tries to pick up. The winds are supporting and Wales got it now. Out it comes booming from Edwards. Gravel trying to do that crash run with Ireland's try line yawning. Good support from the Welsh back row. Quinnell, the number eight, plays it. Here's Fenwick. And can he run all the way? Fenwick is making a monopoly of this game at Lansdowne Road. That's 13 points up for the man from Bridgen. Edwards feeds, and there's a free kick for a crooked feed by the scrum half on his 52nd cup today. Or is he? Uh, no, it looks to me from the signal as if it was Bob Windsor who was trapped. No kick at goal off the free kick. There can be a drop goal. And that was quick thinking by Ward. They're not coming out the full five. And therefore, a lot depends on the Ponderpool front row. Can they drive Ireland away from the danger area? Here comes the shove by Wales. Makes it difficult for Duggan, who wriggles his way away. And here comes a Welsh counter-attack, spearheaded by Gerald Davis. And Gareth Edwards was with him as well. A little attempt by Maloney and McLennan to work something on the Irish left. Thwarted by Gareth Edwards and Gerald Davis. That's uh, Eddie Byrne, or Ned Byrne as they call him in Ireland, providing Maloney with a possession that allows Ward to put JPR Williams under pressure. Great take by him. He's made a mistake though, and it's awfully different for Wales. They're asking for the try, and it's been awarded. Moss Keane, I think, getting the touchdown, and Ireland have drawn level. So can the Welsh forwards give enough possession to the ever-threatening Welsh backs? That's what this final five minutes or so will be all about. Windsor trying to do the ripping job, now help from his Pontypool colleague. Windsor spins it beautifully to Edwards, who keeps running and gives it to Fenwick. And can he work it to JJ Williams? Here it comes! The try awarded. The Irish defence cracks fatally. And Wales have got their noses back in front and the smell of the Triple Crown in their nostrils. 17-13 to Wales with just four minutes of the match left. And that tremendous Welsh eight drives Ireland to the ground. Mr. Tomek says they did it deliberately. This is a score or an attempt which could then put Wales that little extra bit out of reach of Ireland. That's why it's so important. Steve Fenwick. It looks on target. The flags are up. Fenwick raises his personal tally to 16 points. The Welsh score goes up to 20.